So now we are going to define one particular programming. This programming is useful for thread creation. But while creating thread here, we are also creating two files that will hold the generated odd and even numbers. Now how to do that? So I have used two particular import statements. In this import statement, we have file writer class and IO exception class. File writer class is used to write characters to a file and IO exception is an exception that might be thrown during the input output operation. And see, we have a well known line over here that is num writer extends thread class. And within this thread class, we have three instance variable and all these instance variables are of type private. Now this three declared private instance variables, start number, end number and file name, these variables will hold the string, the starting and the ending numbers for the range of numbers to be written and the file name to which these numbers will be written. And now we have a particular constructor and inside this constructor what we have done. So this number writer constructor, it takes three parameters, start number, end number and file name and check this one since the instance variable names are same as the constructor parameters name. So I have used this keyword over here and then I have used a well-known run method. Now why this run method is used? This run method is used to define in the thread class. It is the entry point for the concurrent execution of this thread. And now see here I have used the exception handling mechanism using try catch. So inside this try, I have written file writer writer equal to new file writer. File writer object with the specified file name is created over here. This object will be used to write a data to a file. And see, I have used one for loop. Inside this for loop, what I have done, this for loop basically iterates over a range of a number starting from start number to end number, incrementing by two each time. So this loop is designed to write only odd numbers since it is incremented by two. Now here again I have written writer dot write and then inside the round bracket integer dot to string. So it converts the current number i to a string and write it to the file followed by new line character. Then I have written writer.close. It closes the file writer to release any system resources associated with it. Then we have a well-known cat statement with IO exception. And why I have written this one? Because IO exception that might occur during the file writing process and prints the stack trace over here. Then we have the main class in the main class, two instances of number writer are created, odd writer to write the odd numbers and even writer to write the even numbers. Each instance is initialized with the appropriate start and end numbers along with the file name. And see what I have written. Then I have written one simple thing over here that is odd writer dot start, even writer dot start. It starts the execution of both odd writer and even writer thread concurrently. So this is a classical example of concurrent execution of thread. And then again, I have used one try statement. The main thread represent by main waits for both odd writer and even writer threads to finish its execution using the join method. This ensures that the message number written successfully is printed only after both threads have completed their execution. Now, if I'm going to run this program, then this will be the output. See, in the output, I'm getting numbers written successfully. And in the output console, we will not be able to see the output. Check out this code. So this is the complete code and output is written over here where see this is the dot class file but these are the two files that are having set of numbers this is one file and this is another file it contains odd number and this contains even number so this is a beautiful example 
you, that you can use for providing an example for concurrent execution of thread. Also, you can use this example to illustrate how to create a file and then how to print odd and even numbers using thread inside that file.